Hello June, welcome to this month's burn and melt. Let me run a quick idea before we shop the stash. Um, it's June and Hallmark is running a Christmas in July. So I think I'm gonna do red, white, and blue for June and then do Christmas scents for July. It's a little out of my comfort zone. I'm willing to give it a try. And on top of that, once we get to August, then I'm all about like fall creeping in and the last of the summer, beginning of the fall. Uh, I think we're gonna roll with it. I have Tinks with me. Bella just went that away in case you heard her. And what's left of my June or my May burning melt, I'll show you when I go downstairs. I did bring up this candle. I finished it, I'm putting it in my empties. And I'll show you real quick uh, the candle cabinet. So this is nothing but a bag of empties and it's getting pretty full. So I figure I'll do like a what's up, catch up kind of thing and go through my empties and just be like really casual talk. Um, again, so if we stick to red, white and blue, I do see the one wick in the firecracker pop from Bath and Body Works if I can get it. And this is the berry and I think it's like citrus uh, candle, pretty sure. I think I have this in a three whip too. Somewhere downstairs, we'll have to dig it out. One exception to June though, is I want to burn a lemon cake pop because it is one of my most favorite scents. And okay, there's some white on there. We'll roll with it. It'll be a loose, loose theme. So we'll put that in the basket. And what else is up here? Those are all lemon cake pops. There's a banana walnut muffin. I'll have to take those out of the boxes. There is this box here. Let me get it down. It too is full of candles. Watermelon slush, that's white. But I have these ones from Target. I have a cotton candy and it's perfect for the theme. Cherry popsicle. I think that's spiced pumpkin. Pumpkin apple parfait. Do I want that one? Oh, maybe not because I'll tell you why. I still have one left over from May that I want to get through. Okay, so I think we're we're doing okay on candles. Let me dig that box of wax out. Uh, I have some samples in this box. I think a lot of them's going to be Christmas or fall because I think I ordered most of my candles from the keeping room in the fall. But I do have some Swan Creek in here. Let's see if there's anything that kind of fits the theme. The wax for the most part is white. But I want to have some hard decisions next month. I have some homeworks in here. more pink isn't it but I wonder cinnamon apple uh, yeah 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 cinnamon apple peaches I think I might we'll kind of call that red again it's a loose thing for June <laughs> birthday cake but I don't know anybody's birthday coming up Oh, strawberry daiquiri. Those are red. Perfect. Okay. 
What is this? Oh, salted caramel. That's a good one. This brown snickerdoodle. That probably that probably would fit in. Definitely fall, I think, maple caramel. What is that? Sugar cookie flapjack. No, that's kind of loose on the white. But I think we can slip it in here. And I probably won't burn the whole bags up. I'll just kind of do a couple. Cuttable. Apple cinnamon. What is this one? Oh, pumpkin. Can you believe it's June already? Can you believe that? I cannot. You're flying by now that it got warm. Spice caramel. Nice country. Is that looking in the label? I don't know. This is no man candy. Chocolate fudge cuttable. Hmm. Okay, let me move over here to this the cabinet behind me. And we'll look to see what's there. I think I have found most of my wax. I think. There might be some more hiding out. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, you know what? I did not find everything yet because I'm still missing my tea light warmer with my utensils. I've been using a pair of scissors to cut my wax. That's a very much fall scent, but it's very nice. Cyber mail. Pumpkin delivery. Home for Christmas. It smells like bubble gum in here, though. I wonder what's causing that. I mean, I like it. Look, there's candy shop, and it's white. I need a, well, I do not really need a new scent cup. The one I have is working just fine. I see a Christmas one for next month. Vintage Harvest. Those are all 1803, 1803. I don't have my glasses on. I think so. And then down here, I gotta open this up completely. Otherwise, if I don't open this up, the door swings back. Um, I don't know. I just got stuff shoved everywhere. A lot of candle holders down here, jar holders. We do not have air conditioning and it's toasty out today. That is stuck. See how that just kind of wanted to take my arm off? Not really. I gotta be dramatic. I have one of these Vodo holders where you put three in there and you can make your own scents. This is Christmas wreath or balsam and cedar. And then I have a lot of fall back in here. Okay. Nothing's really fitting my red, white, and blue theme. Oh, you know what? I should probably lay that down. It's probably getting hit by the drawer. Red apple wreath. Just taking a nap if you can't hear him or in case you do hear him you're like what is that noise Let's see if I can squeeze that back in 
Okay. Uh, uh, I'm too hot to dig through that. The good news is someone came out and looked at our house to do the mini splits in. So if all goes well, we'll have a mini split in that room over there and one downstairs and then one over behind me and one downstairs and then it should cool down. This little room's odd. I don't know what the reasoning is behind it, but we took the door off because the hinge was broke. And, you know, people want to grab at it and it's like, don't. So we just took it off and stuck it in there and I'm just using it for storage right now. But you can see that used to be the outside of the house. And they just put up like a piece of wood because there's the bathroom. Oh, there goes Tink. She's got the steps. Um, these windows, I actually have one operational downstairs that you can open it up to let uh, a breeze through. And what else can I tell you about the upstairs? <laughs> that my butt's sitting right on the edge of the steps. Yeah, I'm right on the edge. 18 steps. Can you believe that? 18. And then I remembered that I have a three wick in the firecracker pop. I'm pretty sure. So I do want to go dig that out and show you how far I got on my cabinet where I'm keeping all my candles. Real quick, I'll show you what I did get through from June. I got through almost everything. Right now, I'm burning my Yankee Candle Cotton Candies, the two wick, by halfway done. I got through all these rainbow melts and then this one here this marshmallow what does that say gooey toasted marshmallow very nice little scent and then the rest of that sampler i gave to brett he was up over uh memorial day weekend and i gave him the rest because a lot of them had like the gain and the laundry scents in them and but these did last quite a bit i burned them like three days or should i say melted them in my scent cup like three days and then like six hours three hours six hours that kind of thing this one here this yankee candle iced berry lemonade my whole purpose of grabbing this was it one it smells really nice and two i was going to put it on my desk so when i'm sewing or crafting I could light it up and enjoy it because it should only get like probably what 10 hours out of it. Does it say on there? Um, so I'm going to leave it again. This is a leftover from June. Wait, from May. We are in June. You know what's screwing me up? The red, white, and blue theme. I'm thinking July, but I want to do Christmas in July. So that's kind of messing with me right now. Let's go over to my hutch cabinet. Oh wait, when I'm editing this, I'll know if I told you this already. But if not, strawberry bunny shortcake is a leftover from May. And I still want to burn it. I know it's pink. We'll kind of do the loose theme on the red, white, and blue. But um, I, I want to burn one of these. I have not yet, and I have a couple of them. And I think I got them 21, so last year, right? Getting that eyesight that just does not work sometimes, but it's right there. The date is, I think that's 21. Okay, so here I am sitting on the floor in front of my hutch. And the left side, I got a lot of candles put in here. I could probably squeeze a couple more if I stacked the flat lids and then the drawers on top. But uh, a lot of it is, well, just a lot of everything. I found my spooky cider. And there's a couple Easter fall farmhouses in there, which I'm excited to burn this year. I never did last year. I think I got it. When, when I got it, I just didn't light it up. And then um, I have this gumdrop, very gumdrop. Eh, kind of like on the fence about it. I think I ordered online. Bunny cake is always a nice one, and I'm down to like my last couple. Okay, so this is the left side. I don't think it's on this side. Again, I'm looking for that firecracker pop. 
And I want to hold you this time because I put you on the tripod last time. And I had a hard time getting in beside you. And the microphone was, um, like way in. You couldn't hear me talk. So, let's look here. I got bonfire s'mores. Hot for Sunday. Pumpkin peanut brittle. Peppermint marshmallow. Um, do I see it? See, all the flat lids are on the bottom, so I can put my jars on top. It's hot cocoa and cream. I really like that scent. I do have this one. It's, I think it's apple. God bless America. Remember Yankee came out with these a few years back. This is a 2016. I'm not. I'm looking at the first two numbers. Uh, and they had, I think, three of them. I only got the one. Maybe I got two of them. Because I really liked the scents. Okay, I don't see any more flat ones in there. Down here. Let's look over here. No, I don't. I think that's peach bellini. That's the some some kind of lemonade one. It's been a while. Let's look up here. This one's nice. The blackberry cream frosting. So much I got two of them. Uh oh. Uh oh. I don't see it. Did I not get a big one? Maybe I only got the one wick. Maybe I'm confused. Hmm. Ah, that's okay. That's all right. Because I got plenty of candles for June. Oh, that's hit my drawer. Okay. I'm checking up there to make sure. But there's a barrier. And we got to put that one down. That one back here. That's a harvest back in there. I can't sometimes what I found is I couldn't get the flat lids in certain areas and then have the door shut so I had to rearrange and rearrange and kind of stack some of those like that I got a little more room over here if the door shuts let's see yay it does I'm gonna look over here real quick but I, maybe I only have the one, the one wick candle. Oh, you can see the wax in there. Butter eggnog, butter rum eggnog. That's the harvest. That's that gumdrop one. That's hot cocoa and cream. We'll look back here. Oh, those are the big three wicks. Yep. By Yankee. Those are my advent calendars. So, okay, well, I guess I was imagining things that I had that, but I don't. Hopefully that shuts. We'll see. Okay, so June's burning melt, melting basket. We're using this up for May. I'm keeping this in here for May. We have the candy shop by Swan Creek. Strawberry daiquiri, candles from the keeping room. These are all candles from the keeping room. Cinnamon apple peaches and sugar cookie flapjack. There's a one wick in the firecracker pop. I think that's last year's. This is last year's from Target. Has a little dust cover on it, one wick. And 
this lemon cake pop. So a little a little loose play on the red, white, and blue theme, but I think it will work. And then keep a lookout for July because I'm going to do Christmas in July. And um, let me know what you're burning and melting. Take care, everyone.